All right, today we're gonna install the DV8 front camera relocation kit. If you're like me, you have a front winch that's either blocking your front camera view or you bought a grill that doesn't have a front camera slot. So you need that front camera back. I'm gonna use this DV8 off-road. Hopefully it works with my bumper. It should be universal. So we have our bracket that mounts to the front of the winch fair lead. And then we have the brackets that hold the front camera. We got our hardware. Cool thing about this kit, if you're wondering, is it does come with an extension for your front camera. It comes with an extension hose for your windshield washer to spray your front camera. So this is how my front end looks right now. Um, as you can see with the AM off-road grill we installed, the front camera is not there. There's no cutout for the front camera. For me, I was going to re relocate my front camera anyways, just because this winch sat right there in front of the camera. So all you saw in my front camera was this winch. So we're going to go ahead and loosen up the winch. We're going to loosen up the fair lead here and then get this bracket going. All right, so let's get this winch loosened up. Now I can take it off and install the bracket. All right, so my front camera is already off. If you watched my grill video, you can see how I took the grill off and took the front camera off. It's still in the factory housing. I didn't take it out. You're gonna wanna find this flat piece from your DVA package, and you're going to place it over the factory housing. Then you're gonna find this L-shaped bracket here. You put that on there. Then you're gonna find this bracket here to cover everything else there. And you're gonna use the supplied M8 hardware to secure this contraption together. So that's the first step. Just get it finger tight there. And then it has this little divot indention for when you run your extended wires. Now we're gonna take that contraption and find the larger L bracket. And we're gonna secure this like this with your M6 hardware. So there it is. All right, at this time, you can go ahead and make sure that your camera is aligned, not crooked like this with the brackets. And once you are pleased that it's nice and level and aligned, you can go ahead and tighten down your M8 hardware. When you removed your camera from the grill, on the end of the hose, there was this elbow and this check valve. You wanna make sure that you remove this check valve and elbow from the factory hose, and you wanna attach the elbow directly to the back of the camera here because this check valve needs to be close to the actual camera. And then you can add your extension that comes with the kit and then attach your extension to your factory hose with these barbed uh, connectors here. Front camera is mounted to the bracket that we put together. Elbow and check valve are on there. The included extended wire for your front camera is plugged in. You just wanna make sure that goes into that little opening there. And then you're gonna attach the remaining bracket onto the back here like that. And then we'll undo our fair lead and then bolt this behind. Now we're just gonna remove the fair lead. That way we can attach the bracket behind. We just take a bracket that we put together here, insert the provided bolts and put that back on there. Just want to make sure we don't smash our wires and hose. All right, so here's what the bracket looks like with the front camera on the winch. All right, so zip tied here to the bracket zip tied to keep it together under the winch zip tied it here behind my winch and then what i did is i just routed it behind 
my passenger headlight up the fender well behind the headlight and then it's going to come out right here under this duct where it can then connect to the factory connections all right once you've made your connections everything's in place you want to make sure that it actually works before you put everything together camera is working look at that no more glitch stitches together like normal got a full 360 again perfect i'm assuming the washer for the front camera comes on with the windshield washer so let's try that out let's go see if the front's wet Yep, got some windshield washer fluid right there. So yeah, everything works.